It was a textbook launch as Vikram S, India's first privately built 18-foot high demonstration rocket, put three payloads in the suborbital space at an altitude of 85 kilometers, lifting off from Sri Harikota. A project of Skyroot Aerospace, a Hyderabad-based startup by two IITians, the core part of the vehicle was made of carbon fiber, a first for India. It had first of its kind 3D printed engines, besides other cutting edge technology. Advanced technologies like 3D printing, in fact it has four 3D printed engines which give the spin for the rocket and, uh, and then like it has like several uh, avionics which is like miniaturized next generation cutting edge technologies. Skyroot has already raised 526 crore rupees funding. The launch cost is cheaper than the US or Europe. With plans for a series of mega commercial launches scaling 500 km altitude, it aims to make satellite launches as simple as booking a cab. It's more about value creation in this industry than valuations. The, this capability proving will of course uh, make, make us stand uh, steadfast in our capability uh, and be able to express uh, uh, to the investor community that raise more funds. The government says around 150 startups, including ISRO vendors, now want to get into building of rockets, satellites and ground stations. It denies private entry would slow down ISRO. So no one should ever think that ISRO's role in space sector will diminish. Sky is not the limit. That's the promise India gives as it opens up its space program for private players. Even as this would unravel a world of possibilities, the big challenge for ISRO in the long run would be to stay relevant and competitive. At Sri Harikota, with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.